Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Venga. Seeing the wall of 67 gave me chills. My grandmother told me if you continue past the waterfall, there's a path leading right to the legend's secret camp. The legends? They're still alive? Depends who you ask. My grandmother said she had dinner with Lorenzo last week. But she also talks to her dead cousin, so who knows? Hey, watch Hello, it! Dear. Hey. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Had to get up there. El Tigre, I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. Those a handful of grenades. Yeah, I get it. Goats. Fucking show offs. I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! really disappear up here would make an army blind. 
How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Sodao would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. <laughs> El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. He never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby tigre! Every girlfriend who's ever dumped me. Why don't you do something about it? What the fuck am I supposed to do about it? How can we carry on with Anton in charge? Kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey. Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I thought it'd go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my baby tigre. <laughs>
Clara. I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. So you want to humiliate the army all by yourself? Idiota! You're never satisfied! How dare you? I do everything you want and this is how you thank me? What do you want? You see what I put up with? Chicharron would have been a roast compoy if it wasn't for me. I took Chicharron under my wing. Train him to be the greatest cockfighter of Yara. But then the soldados came, tried to arrest me for smuggling cash to La Moral. Chicharron went on a rampage. When he tasted the blood of soldados, Yara's greatest guerrilla fighter was born. Cockfighting is beneath Chicharron. He has an insatiable thirst to kill those who hurt the innocent. Like an idiota, I tried to control Chicharron's rage. But now Chicharron has run away from me to kill again. He's gone after the military kennel, where soldados are breeding an army of twisted dogs trained to kill guerrillas. But Chicharron needs a warrior to protect him from himself. I will never be a warrior like Chicharron. But you, you are a warrior, just like Chicharron. Join him. Rápido. Chicharron has run off to fight the dog army alone. Type I see. Not a big fan of evil dogs, apparently. I don't know. Those do dogs, of course.
Ronaldo. Those fucked up dead dogs are dead. Chicharron survived. He tore them apart. I've never seen anything like it. Once Soldado Blood touched Chicharron's beak, he was never the same. But now, I can trust that he has found a companion who will protect him on his quest for justice. Protection? It's fucking terrifying. Paint his name on the water tower. Let all who come know and hear the name Chicharron. Um, sure. Do you want us back on the farm? I will come to you. Chicharron's blood loss for justice has only just begun. <laughs> Gracias, Danny. You are a true warrior and an artista. I've never seen Chicharron this impressed before. I tried to fight with Chicharron once. He ripped my arm off to keep me away, to protect me. But now Chicharron has someone to protect him. Which is good, because Chicharron hates the army and will do whatever it takes to make the soldados afraid. There is a military building nearby filled with important documents. Army secrets, enemy locations, lists of people the regime once hanged. Chicharron is disgusted and wants to tear these documents to shreds. Chicharron will make them regret not going paperless. Will you fight alongside him once more? Nothing will stand between Chicharron and his prey. <coughs> All right, Chicharron, lead the way. So Chicharron hates dogs, soldados, and bananas. Ah, carajo! My pots! Why would you do this? Those pots are my life! Wait, Chicharron, hang on! Coño! I wonder if that place even has records of Castillo's war crimes. How was my day? Well, I followed a bloodthirsty rooster into combat after he blew up a truck. You too?
you. Chicharron has been waiting for this day. What a team you and Chicharron make. I always knew he was destined for greatness. But me and my fear were only holding him back. And now the time has come for Chicharron to spread his wings and fly in the face of his enemy. Soldados are honoring themselves today by showing off a brand new stone monument. As a symbol of their strength. But Chicharron will show them the meaning of strength. He will humiliate them. He will destroy the statue with his powerful beak and crush their spirits with his razor sharp talons. Go with Chicharron. Fulfill your destinies. When this battle is won, everyone will see. Everyone will know. Everyone will bow down to Chicharron. Yes, to Clara Garcia. All right, Chicharron, it's you and me. <laughs> Let's do this. So what are we attacking today? Cocorot stands, jaguars, an airplane? No, no, no! Not again! Why do you hate my pot so much? All I did was give a discount to the soldados. Hey. Oh, yeah. No, no, no! Not again! Why do you hate my pot so much? that mongoose ever do to you?
Por supuesto. Chicharron gets what Chicharron wants. He sure does. Isn't it magnificent? My life's work. All for the glory of Chicharron. It's a masterpiece. Chicharron thanks you. Chicharron wants you to know if ever you need Chicharron, Chicharron will fight by your side. I'm honored? You should be. He is your brother in war. Ah, baby Tigre. You think going to war Perfect with timing. Wise? Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom! Everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Remember the three guerrilla pimpsmiths? Always be moving. Always be on guard. Always kill your enemy before they kill you. In oh, your yeah. own backyard. Baby Tigre, how's it going with those medicals? Looks like. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're la moral, and the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Nice throw. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Got her up!
Libertad, but Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Underneath when I shoot it down. the supply. <gasps> Palapinga! El Tigre! Feast of the Revolution! You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. La Moral? <laughs> Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Bio Vida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. No, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Okay. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Polta. And maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. them anymore. 
But I'm still in There's a lot of pain. Well, suck it up. I won't have a junkie in my camp. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud. Sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVita to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding... But I saw Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? You suffered a nasty one. Facility. There's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She. Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that BioVita place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. There's an engineer. Better watch my step. Shit. A camera. My true Yara's broke Carlos. When you close your eyes, she just lost her baby. And you hear her the her paradise. What okay. do you see? Do you see fire and blood? What? Do you see? <laughs> What are they doing with their bodies? Is what they wish for you today. Back up today, come mierdas. Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place.
all of this bullshit about treating cancer? What coño? They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. What the fuck are they doing to these poor people? I need more pigs. Lo siento, Gabriela. Lo siento. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. What is that red smoke? Something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? Ah, carajo. So many dead bodies in the water. I need to take a picture for Lorenzo. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Tigre, I've got the pigs. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's not handsome when he's convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Oh, I had it. Okay. Get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Confusing your mind. What the shit they are saying. They are calling Libertad a bunch of... We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Merda. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. 
No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. Esta bien. Shoot the tree.